Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are finally getting started on decorating the entire house for Christmas. We are gonna be giving it a holiday home makeover and I'm so excited. I love a cozy home. I've really been looking forward to this all year long and I think it's gonna be amazing. If you're looking for some decorating tips and some holiday home inspiration, I hope this video gives you some ideas. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge thank you to Naywai for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you the coziest lounge wear, the cutest outfits, and the best bras that you will not want to take off. So more about them later on in today's video. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm Kristen, interior designer and home decor expert. I'm sharing all of my designer tips and tricks with you to help transform your house into the home of your dreams through DIY projects, affordable home decor, styling tips, and home organization. If I can do it, you can too. Let's make our homes look and feel their best. Okay, this decor pile might be a little bit larger than I remembered. I've collected a lot of stuff. We have tiny Christmas trees, gold touches, really cozy fabrics, pretty ornaments, some thrifted candlesticks and flocked garland. So it's gonna be really amazing. You can see I'm going for a very woodsy, natural color palette, but also throwing in those pops of color that we use around my house. So we have a lot to do. Let's go ahead and start out with the Christmas tree. I set up my Christmas tree a little bit earlier this year. So if you've seen my most recent videos, you've already seen this Christmas tree. I just love everything about it. It's nine feet tall. It's a pre-lit flocked tree from the Home Depot. They had it in a seven and a half foot as well, but because I have such high ceilings in here, this was the perfect size. I've already fluffed it all up and plugged it in using my smart plug. I recently got this plug this year and it turns my tree into a smart tree. I have it on a schedule, so I don't even have to think about turning the lights on and off. Now, usually I just wrap a throw blanket around my Christmas tree and call it a tree skirt, but I finally decided to get one this year. This is a 60 inch tree skirt that I found at TJ Maxx. It was such a great price and it just looks snowy and soft. So it was the perfect find for this tree. If you are also decorating an artificial Christmas tree this year, you need these sensicles. They make the tree smell like a real Christmas tree. Every year I love to add picks to my Christmas tree and you can find all different styles, but this year I found these gold leaves to go perfectly with that mirror on top of the mantle. These just really add some shape and interest and texture to the Christmas tree. If your Christmas tree is looking a little bit bare and sparse, these really help fill it out. This year I was going after a very specific color palette to match with my living room and all the decor around my home. So I decided to make my own ornaments to really tie together those colors. I found this little hack on TikTok and all you need is clear plastic ornaments and some acrylic paint. You can pick out what Ever color you want. I picked up a few that really go with the rest of the house and you mix around the paint inside the ornament and you'll end up with a custom glossy beautiful ornament to match the rest of your home. You can make these in whatever color palette you want. So if you're going for a little bit of an untraditional color palette this year, this is the easiest way to do it to make it custom to your home. I made these in two different sizes. So these are the large ornaments and then I also made more standard size as well. So I'm just mixing those around to really balance out the whole tree. Now I'm adding in all of my other ornaments that I've collected that have some pattern and texture and sparkle. If you really wanna make your tree glimmer and shine, place your sparkly ornaments near your Christmas lights and it will just make your whole tree twinkle. I love mixing sizes of ornaments, so I even use the tiniest ornaments to add that little touch of detail. I'm also taking this color scheme into my ribbon and tying little casual knots on my Christmas tree using the colored ribbon. I'm not tying bows, I'm not doing long strips. This is just a really casual way of adding some texture and some more color onto the Christmas tree. I 
couldn't find my star this year so we're doing something a little bit different and I'm using this faux fur white ribbon to tie a large bow at the top of the Christmas tree. It just makes it look dainty and pretty and it just makes it feel like this tree is a giant present. I love the way it turned out and it really ties together all of the colors that I used in the new living room makeover. So I'm very excited about that. We're hosting a little mini early Christmas this year and I think everyone's just gonna love the Christmas tree. Now for the mantle, I'm gonna be using real garland that I found at the grocery store and hooking it on to the front of the mantle. I love that it has that deeper green and stands out against the flocked Christmas tree. So it accents it very well. I didn't wanna do the exact same thing everywhere. So this adds a little bit more detail. I'm hanging it up using command hooks, which makes it really easy to pretty much hang this anywhere. And it creates a really laid back, beautiful look. There are so many ways to style a mantle for the holidays, but first things first are stockings. I'm using these simple stocking hangers to hang my faux fur white stockings. These go perfectly with the new bow on top of the Christmas tree. So it's really tying it all together and making it look super cozy. And I'm just gonna layer in a bunch of tiny Christmas trees that I've collected from Target and Home Goods, different places to really create a layered collected look. So this is pretty much my little Christmas corner complete with the mantle and Christmas tree. I love the color combinations and I just love that reflection in that mirror. Now moving on to the dining table. I wanna create a practical tablescape. We do eat here pretty much every day. So I wanna be able to use the table, but I want it to be decorative. So I'm leaving my runner that I usually have on the table all the time and bringing in some more tiny Christmas trees. I've collected all of these different styles, shapes and sizes, and I just love that collected look. Tapered candlesticks just say winter, cozy, romantic, traditional holiday to me. And I've thrifted all of these brass candlesticks and bought the black ones from Ikea. They come in a little set of three. I'm putting in battery operated candles and these are amazing. I found them off of Amazon. They're actually set on timers. So every time you turn them on, they'll stay on for I think six hours and turn off on their own as well. So they're safe and they're something that you can have out all month long. This staircase is in the middle of this open concept room and I wanna balance out the whole look by bringing in some flocked garland to go up the staircase. I'm hanging it all with command hooks so it makes it really simple and easy to remove and put on and just fluffing it out to make it look just like the Christmas tree. There are so many amazing ways to hang garland up your railing. You can wrap it around, you can put it right on top, but I actually like that this is hung on the outside so you can see it really well and it keeps the railing clear so you can use it just like usual. I'm also putting in some battery powered twinkle lights just to add that nice touch to the railing. If you don't have an outlet nearby or you don't want a bunch of extension cords around your home, you need some battery operated lights. If you have some decorative vases or ceramics around your home, you can just easily pop in some winter greenery. I found mine at the grocery store again. I actually pulled apart a swag and put that inside the vase. Doing little simple changes like this just adds that little winter detail all around your home. So that's one space complete. We have still so much to do, but I just look forward to turning off the lights every single night and enjoying this room. I love all the twinkling lights, the candle light. It's so calming and cozy. I love just snuggling up on the couch in my comfy pajamas and watching the Christmas tree. 
These are my new silk pajamas from Naywai, and I wanna share with you all of the new stuff I got. So thank you so much to Naywai for sponsoring today's video. If you've seen my previous videos, you know how much I love Naywai. Naywai means inside and out, and they have the most gorgeous loungewear, pajamas, activewear, and even bras that feel so comfortable because they're made to live in. I just love these silk pajamas. I love getting a new pajama set for the holiday season and wearing them on Christmas, and these are just gonna look so cute. I sized up in them to make them even more comfortable, and I'm wearing one of the Naywai Barely Zero bras underneath. The Barely Zero bras are my favorite bra. I put them on every single day and choose them over any other bra. It feels like you're wearing nothing, and they're actually a your size is the size bra. They fit from sizes A to double D, so even if your weight fluctuates, this will work with you and fit you over time. It is incredible, there's no underwire, and it seriously feels like you're wearing nothing. They also came out with their new lace style and their curve barely zero bra, which is actually a larger size range. So this fits from A to triple D and has a band size that fits up to 43 and a half. It has more coverage and it actually looks super cute as like a little crop top. They also just released their barely zero padded cami, which is just such an incredible tank top. I love that it's seamless, it feels and looks Looks like you're wearing a bra, but you see absolutely no lines. It's so comfortable and even looks really cute with jeans. I've been decorating all day in some of my new Naywai loungewear. I just love that it's stylish, but it's so comfortable to wear all day long. I even got the matching wide leg knitted pants. This is the type of outfit I would love to host Christmas in. It's cozy, it's stylish, it's comfortable, and I just love this monochromatic look. So if you're looking for the perfect loungewear this season, bras you will not want to take off, or even the perfect gift for someone you know, you need to check out Naywai. You can use my code KM20 to get 20% off your order. I'll leave the link down below in the description box. You guys will love them. Now for the entryway, I'm just gonna be adding some small Christmas touches in here to really make it work well with the living room. I'm bringing in a flocked wreath to tie together the garland and the Christmas tree. I love doing those repeated touches around the house to make it feel really cohesive. I'm also lighting it up to make it feel extra special at night using some battery powered fairy lights. I always have this basket hanging in the entryway and I like to swap out different florals for different seasons. So I'm taking out my dried florals from fall and bringing in some fresh greenery. Again, this is from that real swag that I took apart and I'm using all the stems in different areas of the house and it makes it smell really great right when you walk through the door. From the entryway and the front door, you can see right into the family room, and I thought it would be really cute to add a Christmas tree in here as well. This was the first Christmas tree I ever bought, and it's just a six foot tall Christmas tree, so it's perfect as a secondary tree in here. I'm just gonna set it up in this corner so you can see it shine right when you walk through the door. I love having additional Christmas trees around the house. If you have closed off rooms in your home and it isn't so open concept, additional Christmas trees are great because it makes every room feel really cozy and it also gives you another opportunity to decorate a little bit differently. This tree I'm going with a little less color, keeping it a little bit more neutral with gold, white, and clear ornaments. I'm also wrapping around some wood beaded garland. I got two different kinds and I tried to use them on the first Christmas tree, but I just didn't have enough. So these are the perfect size for such a small Christmas tree. It adds some texture and really gives off more of a Scandinavian look. have some built-ins in this room that I just wanna add some little cozy touches to. I found these cute little cabins and little homes in the Target dollar section, and I think they're so cute just to add in to your existing decor. I just dream of owning a tiny cabin and making it into the cutest Airbnb, so this is me manifesting my dreams, and hopefully one day they come true. And 
the last little cozy touch we're making to the family room is just swapping out pillow covers. You can change out your linen pillow covers for something a little cozier and textural for this holiday season. All right, so let's turn down the lights and see what the whole house looks like now that it's decorated for Christmas. an entire day of decorating and I just love the way the house turned out. Everywhere you turn, there's twinkly lights and pretty Christmas trees. It just feels so cozy and comfortable. So I cannot wait to host a little Christmas this year. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can decorate your home for the holidays this year. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite part of today's video was. I think mine has to be my DIY ornaments. Those turned out amazing and you can make them in every single color. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!